Hello, this is Monica at Add a Little Dazzle, and in today's video, we are going to teach you how to make these beautiful chocolate nugget wrappers made out of Add a Little Dazzle craft metal sheets and Sycamore Street designer series paper. Welcome to Add a Little Dazzle. We're now ready to begin creating these beautiful chocolate nugget wraps made out of metal and Sycamore Street Designer series paper. But there are a couple of things that we need to have on hand. First of all, you need to have your Sycamore Street Designer series paper and you need to have Add a Little Dazzle craft metal sheets. This is Pucker Me Pink right here. This is Lovely Lavender, Baby Blue, and outrageously orange and these colors look amazing with the Sycamore Street Designer series paper. So we're going to start off by teaching you how to create this wrap and once you get this part done it will be easy to recreate these in a matter of minutes. To begin this project I took a one and a quarter inch by four and nine sixteenth inch piece of cardstock. I took this piece and I folded it in half right down the middle. Here we go. And you don't have to use a bone fold or anything, just fold it like that. Now, the next thing I needed to do was I needed to take a piece of cardstock in my elegant butterfly punch. I needed to punch out a butterfly. So here's my piece. I want to make sure that when I'm working with this piece that the scored side is over here and the open side is over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this butterfly and I'm going to actually place it right here on top like this. Okay. And I'm going to make sure that it's within these parameters right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pencil and I'm just going to make a little line right above and below the center of the butterfly and then I'm going to make a little notch going out to the left. So now that I've done that I'm going to take a ruler and I'm just going to create a line right there as you can see. Then I'm going to take my ruler and on that little notch that I created on the left I'm going to also make a line and you can't see right there and make sure that it's straight and you're going to do that on both sides once you have done that then what you're going to do is you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut out that template here's my piece so I've taken a pucker me pink metal sheet that measures one and a quarter by four and nine sixteenths and I'm going to fold it in half. Don't worry about it being metal. But I'm going to fold it with the color facing in. And I'm going to lightly press here. I don't want to press too hard, but I want to press down. I'm going to take my piece that I created. And I'm going to place it directly on top. That means that this open part here and this open part here must meet. And then I'm going to take my pencil. And on that metal side I'm just gonna go over it and that embosses your piece actually is what it does as you can see right here and so now that I've done that I'm going to take my scissors and I am going to cut right there so now that I've created this metal embossed piece I'm going to take my elegant butterfly punch and I'm gonna place it facing up now this area needs to be able to fit through the body of the butterfly right here and that's why I cut that area out and so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slide it in and I want this piece to come through on the top okay so as you can see I've now slid it in and it's positioned exactly where I want it I want that center body of the butterfly to end up as closely as I can lined up with that edge right here. Um, let me show you 
right here. I want it as close as I can. And I want to make sure that I'm looking inside to make sure that the entire right hand body of the butterfly is in there. And that this part is sticking out. Because is that way this will ensure that this is not punched. So once you are ready to go, just press it down. And you're going to see what's gonna ha what happened here. Now, I do want to say that um, you're going to have to take some scissors. It's not going to ruin anything. And just pull out the metal. Because um, it'll get if you don't pull it out, then the next time you're going to use it, it's going to get stuck. And so here's the piece that I created. And as you can see, it's only half of the body. So now I'm going to open it. Now, don't worry about it being all um, wrinkled. That really doesn't matter. If it just is driving you crazy, take a bone folder or take your brayer and just go over it, but go over it very, very carefully. You don't want to press too hard. Like I said, it really doesn't matter. And one of the reasons that I did it with the color facing inwards is because when I bend it, I didn't want any of that metal color to come out off of it. And so this way, it hasn't come off. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to place it inside my Lacy Brocade Impressions folder and I'm going to run it through. One thing to keep in mind when you are embossing this piece is that the logos of Stampin' Up! must be facing up and you're going to just place it in there and run it through your Big Shot. And this is what the piece looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. But now, I need to be able to create that wrap around it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and at the center of the butterfly, I'm just going to cut a little notch, but I'm only going to cut it halfway from the bottom up halfway. Now I'm going to flip it around and the other butterfly from the bottom up halfway too. So that means that my notch is halfway up here and halfway down there. Now, I'm using the um, Sycamore Street Designer Series paper and this piece measures one by three inches and that's what the nugget wrap needs. Now, you, um, Hershey's said that you're not allowed to put any adhesive on here to attach it directly to the nugget as the adhesive will seep into the chocolate and so in order to um, follow the rules what I'm going to do is I'm going to use little mini glue dots and on the edge of the side that's not going to be visible I'm just going to place three little mini glue dots right there and they're just right there very easy to see and then I'm going to take it and I'm going to wrap around now you may want to go over here just to create that crease. Then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to wrap it around and attach it right there. And the adhesive has not touched the wrapper of the chalk. And how do you know? Because you'll just be able to slide it in and out. You can place it right there in the center and bring it in. And so since my notch here on is on the top, I'm going to slide my metal to the left and the bottom one I'm going to slide I'm sorry I'm going to slide the one with the notch up down and the one with the notch at the bottom coming up and so once they're like that then I can easily find where they meet and I'm just going to let my let them slide into place and so as you can see here I've now created this butterfly wrap on here and the neat thing is is that it can slide off right with your um, paper. Okay so here's my chocolate nugget and I want to be able for the metal wrap to adhere so that it will all slide off together so I'm just going to take that little mini glue dot and I'm going to place it right there in the center and because it's on the designer series paper there's no problem with the adhesive seeping into the chocolate and then you're just going to carefully lift it slide it back into place position the butterfly wings and there you go 
So what that's going to help is that when you slide it off, the whole thing is going to slide off so it's not going to fall apart. And so now that I'm ready to attach these um, rhinestone jewels, what I would do is take a little bit of um, crystal effects and just place a small little layer there with a toothpick. And then you're going to take your three rhinestone jewels together. Just peel it off with the scissors, keep them together. And then just very carefully attach it right there. And that just creates a stunning look on that butterfly. And as you can see here from the other samples, it just really brings out the colors of the designer series paper along with the the metal and these are very easy to make these are perfect for a party favor for a baby shower for a bridal shower whatever occasion you can think of and so we invite you to visit us at www.addalittledazzle.com and on there you can purchase these four metal sheet colors along with 16 other colors that we have and they coordinate beautifully with all our Stamping Up Designer Series paper. And remember, you can get the Stamping Up Designer Series paper with every $50 order before shipping and handling that you place on our website. And we invite you to um, place your order if you need a catalog or anything. Just email me at monica at com. Thanks and have a dazzling day. <laughs>